Good morning, church. Praise the Lord. It's another Tuesday that we are coming together for a short devotional. And I want to read from Jeremiah 33, verse 1 up to 3. And the Bible says, While Jeremiah was still confined in the courtyard of the guard, the word of the Lord came to him a second time. This is what the Lord says, He who made the earth, the Lord who formed it and established it established it. The Lord is his name. Call to me and I will answer you and tell you great and unsearchable things you do not know. So here is Jeremiah in prison, uh, frustrated, and he does not even take time to pray. I think he must have been angry at God, but the Lord reaches out to him in prison and he tells Jeremiah, Call unto me. The Lord desires to fellowship with Jeremiah even in his situation in prison, in suffering, in pain. God desired to fellowship with him. But Jeremiah was aloof. He did not even think that even in prison God would fellowship with him. So God reaches out to him and tells him, Call to me and I will answer you. And I will I'll tell you great and unsearchable things you do not know. So the Lord is telling us today, even in our situation, in our frustrations, maybe you have waited upon God and nothing seems to be coming forth. Maybe you have been hurt and it seems like God does not care to you. Maybe you have been sick so long and you are wondering why. Maybe among your siblings, you are the only one who seems to be going through difficulties. And because of that, you have become aloof. You have stayed away from God. Today, God is telling you that he has not forgotten you. In that prison of pain, of shame, and of suffering, he, call, he tells you, call unto me. I am ready to answer, but you are not calling. Call unto me, and I will answer you. I have great and unsearchable things that I desire to reveal to you, even in your situation. But because you are not calling unto me, you will never get to know these things. So today, uh, we want to encourage ourselves that there are things that the Lord wants to show us. Even in that difficult situation, there is something God wants to reveal to you. But as long as you remain aloof, as long as you think that you, you the, the suffering is yours alone and you will wait until you come through on your own, the Lord says, even in suffering, there are lessons that you may learn. But if you stay aloof, you will not learn them. So I want to encourage you as we pray today, call on to God in that situation and he will answer you. Seek him and he will show you those unsearchable things that you do not know. Yet he desires to reveal to you. Let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, we ask that you forgive us. When we are so angry with you, when we think that you do not care, when we think that we are forgotten, when we think that we are discriminated against, Lord, by you, we ask that you forgive us, O oh God. Today we, hear, we are taking heed, O oh God, to the call of God upon our lives, that we call unto you, and you're ready to answer, my Father, in our suffering, in our pain, O oh God, in our difficulties, in our confusion, my Father. We are calling unto you, O oh God of heaven, that you may answer us, O oh God. There are things that are hidden, my Father. There are lessons that we are meant to learn, O oh God. There are ways in which you want us, O oh God of heaven, to be equipped through suffering, O oh God of heaven, that we may become vessels that will be an encouragement and a comfort to others, O oh God. But because we are aloof, O oh God, these things are not yet revealed to us. But today we are calling to you, reveal, O oh God, that hidden thing, my God, that lesson that we ought to learn, Jehovah. Let not this suffering... Let not this pain, let not this prison, O oh God, pass without accomplishing a purpose, O oh God. And therefore, Lord, we pray that in Jesus' name we may be strengthened today, O oh God. Fill us with joy again, with peace again, O oh God. Even comfort to realize the Lord cares and that the Lord wants us well, O oh God. We bless your name, my Father, because in the due time we are going to receive victory. Receive honor and praise because we pray this in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.
God bless you, church. Let's meet next Tuesday.